Hi guys, it's Draw Law here. So today I'm doing a Thanksgiving video where I draw two pilgrims. Before we get started, please make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, and hit that bell to receive notifications so you guys know every time I post a new video. Alright, let's get to it. So I'm going to be drawing two pilgrims today, one boy and one girl, and I'm starting off with the girl first. I, um, while I was doing the sketch, I was trying to figure out the way that pilgrims' outfits work. And for the most part, they're very conservative compared to today's outfits. Like, they were covered from head to toe, even the men. Like, um, the part where their pants ended, they would have really long socks to still cover up the gap. I thought that was just interesting. Also, the girls' dresses, they went all the way down to the floor, so you didn't even see their shoes. Also, I thought something that was really cute was there was a lot of ruffles going on in the outfit. Like they had this white collar thing on the under the neckline and they also had this little apron too that I ended up drawing. And I don't know, I think it was just fun just to include some ruffles and little swirls here and there. Also for that little headpiece the girls wore, I think it was this kind of hat. I really like it. I think it was really cute. At first I thought it would be really tricky to draw, but when I broke it down into basic shapes, I it helped figure it out. That's one thing I definitely do suggest if, you know, something's tricky. Uh, I mentioned this in my um, five tips video for drawing. If something is tricky for you, then break it up into simple shapes and it'll help you. If you guys are interested in watching that video, I will link it in the eye up above. Okay, and now I'm just lining it. You know what this reminds me of? I think when I was younger, in elementary school, I had to do this play, and I was dressed up as a pilgrim, and I loved that outfit. I'm not even kidding, it looked just like the one I was drawing here. I wish I still had it, but I don't. And I love that costume so much that I even wore it for Halloween that year. So, I killed two birds with that with one stone. Used it for multiple purposes. Also for her sleeves, I gave her a little bit of a puff sleeve. I'm not sure if that's too accurate, but I thought it was cute for the drawing, so I included it. Sorry if it's not right. Okay, and now we're going to be drawing the boy. And now the boy pilgrim, um, his, I tried to keep him pretty much the same. Like, when I end up coloring it, I gave them both blonde hair and blue eyes. Maybe they could pass as, like, brother and sister. I'm not sure. But I tried to keep them similar, kind of keep a common ground between them. Now, for the boys' outfits, it was a little bit different. Um, they had, like, this collared shirt, and it was this kind of jacket with these really old-fashioned looking pants. I can't explain it, but... Once I draw it, you'll see what I mean. And, um, it was just fun to draw. There was a lot of buckles. Like, there was a buckle for his belt, there were buckles on his shoes, and there were even buckle, there was a buckle on his hat. So, I guess the men were really into buckles back then. Not sure. It was kind of tricky just to figure it out, because when I draw two characters on one page, I like to keep them, um, somewhat similar in height. And I kept getting thrown off because... Um, I think I made the girl a little too short, so I was m making the guy, and I'm like, wait a second, if I make him the same height as her, his legs will be too short. So I had to make him a little bit taller, that's why he might get cut out just a bit in the camera. Um, but yeah, it's okay, it's not that big of a problem, but next time, maybe I should think, um, plan out the heights before I go into inking and everything. Alright, and now we are inking the man. But this was really fun to do, and I'm so happy Thanksgiving is coming up. It's just such a beautiful time of year where everyone's being grateful and thankful for what it is they have. I'm super happy about it. Also, it's like the leaves look so pretty during that time. It's like the peak of autumn, and I just love it. Okay, and you know what else I love? I love when you color in with line art and the picture just comes together. Just like that je ne sais quoi. Oh yeah, so you guys see what I mean? Pants right here? It was interesting. It was like a capri length, so it didn't go all the way down. But then they used their socks to meet where their pants left off. Interesting. I can't imagine anyone dressing like this today. Alright, and that's it for the line art. So now I'm going to start the coloring. Um, and believe me when I say I was not trying to be lazy whatsoever with the coloring. 
but their outfits were not that colorful. It was like both of their outfits were mainly brown, some dark browns, and yellow. That's pretty much all the colors I used. Also blue for their eyes. But yeah, um, and it's not because I didn't want to incorporate more colors, it's because that's really how the pilgrims dressed. I guess back then when they didn't have too much fabric, they would just stick with solid, neutral tones. So, sorry about that. But I tried to make it as let as not boring as possible, just by adding some ruffles for the girl, adding a bow under her little hat, and for the man, I tried to add just some dimension in his outfit. Um, as you can see under the belt for him, I added some little ruffles things too, and I added some lines under his um, pants, just trying to keep it interesting, if you know what I mean. Alright, and you know what I think pulled this picture together? When there is a lot of white in um, a drawing, you need to shade the white, otherwise it's going to look funny. So I always use this cool gray, and I shaded the white, and it just makes it look so much better. Because if you don't shade white, it's going to look really flat. So that's something really important to consider. Also, if you see here, I gave the girl rosy cheeks and lipstick, but by the end of the video, it like faded away. I think it's because I need to wait a little bit after coloring in the skin before I add the lipstick and the cheeks. Otherwise, the pink pretty much blends into the skin tone and you can't see it later on. Okay, now moving on to the boy. Also in these videos, I always feel like the second drawing goes by quicker than the first. Just because I already figured out what the colors are going to be, what the main look is going to be, so it's just easier. And I used a mixture of Windsor and Newton brush markers, as well as Ohuhu markers. I used Windsor and Newton mainly for the clothing because they are less saturated than Ohuhu's, and I wanted to you know, kind of reflect how it really is, and their clothes weren't saturated, they were mainly plain, so, yeah. And then I just used Ohus for their skin and hair, just to balance out the brightness, give the picture a little bit more depth. Okay, so that finishes off the top part, and now for the pants, and I know it looks a little bit plain because they are both the same brown, it's not really a different shade of brown but the way you need to fix a drawing like this where it's a lot of one color you have to shade like if you don't shade it's gonna be really flat like shading is must in this drawing and for the belt see they they used black for the belt but I just felt like with the really neutral tones I just felt like black would be too much so I substituted it for a really dark brown and I think it looks better. I feel like black would have just popped out too much. I don't know. I don't think it would have been right for the drawing. So I think I made the right decision doing a dark brown instead. As you can see, there are a lot of buckles. One, two, three, four. Yep, four buckles in one outfit. <sighs> and for these drawings, I used um, references as cartoon pilgrims, but also real life pilgrims just so I can get that cartoon aspect, but also incorporate real parts of their actual outfits. And now for the hair, and then we are done. I think they both look so cute. I'm really happy with the way this drawing turned out. And I don't know, it was just super fun to draw them. I had a lot of fun. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I can't believe we're at 75 subscribers, that is amazing. So if you like this video, leave a like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Bye, guys!